Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer. We're playing as the Greenskins. This is episode 10, and we have such a huge and crucial battle in today's episode. We have Grimgor Ironhide versus Thor Grim Grudge Bearer for the first time. This is make or break. If we can win this here today, we're going to be in a really nice position pushing into the western, sort of southern part of the Badlands, which the dwarfs occupy. If we lose this, we're going to be set back a few turns. So let's have a look at the arm builds. This is a huge, huge battle for both sides, and I really can't wait. So, Thor Grim Grudge Bearer is rank 13, and Grim Gore is 14. Obviously, Thor Grim is a lot better. He has a lot more, sort of, uh, abilities than Grim Gore. Two, uh, so one unit of hammer is with two golden chevron, okay. We're coming up against five dwarven warriors, four miners, and five quarrelers. Quarrelers are the best crossbow unit in the game, in my opinion. Even some of them have two silver chevrons here. Bloody hell. They are so, so good for the dwarfs. And they have four grudge throwers. We have Grimgore, of course. One unit of black orcs. We have, what, six, nine units of orc biggins. Two orc boys. Four orc archers. Some Orc Boar Boys, and then the Doom Divers and the Rock Lobbers. So, they have four Grudge Throwers to our two artillery. They have five Crossbow Quarrelers to my five. We do outnumber them infantry-wise, but these Miners and Dwarf Warriors will be uh, putting a bit up a fight. But, uh, yeah, it's, we're only just, it's just in our favour, but... Let's fight this one on the field now, shall we? Guys, if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribed, I'd really much appreciate it. Also, check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. But this is such a huge and massive fight, our first battle with Grimgore versus Thorgrim. So, I want to try and make the line as, as best as possible. We want to hit them and hit them hard, simply because they have skirmisher superiority, and they also have... Um, artillery. So we basically just want to push in, go full guns blazing, full <laughs> all biggins blazing. All right, archers can push up as well. I want you to take out their quarrelers. I'm gonna push my my doom diver and my rock lobber up. I'm gonna disable fire at will simply because it's gonna cause too much friendly fire when I'm pushing you guys up. I'm going to get my orc boar boys on the flanks. Okay, I think we're ready to start the battle. So let's start and quickly pause, and let's have a look at our units now, shall we? So, I am using the camera mod as well. The ad the advanced camera mod, the better camera mod, so, uh, yeah. It's the most subscribed on Steam. I sh you uh, guys have seen it now from time to time. It's the only mod I'm using. It's not in the description below, however... It's the top rated on Steam. I'm sure you can find it. So you can get some really cool cinematic shots. Look how far you can zoom in. Looks awesome. So let's have a quick look at Grimgore. Here he is with his Orc boys. Let's have a really good close-up of his ugly looking face. Check out that. Good old nose ring. Right, let's have a look at Thorgrim as well. Our first battle with him. Oh wow, this dwarven line with the grudge throwers at the back looks awesome. But here he is with the uh, book of grudges with his dwarven men behind. I really love the look of the dwarves. Their helmets look awesome, as you see here. Nicely stuff. Right, let's have enough of this cinematic shots. Let's get into the battle. Hit them. And hit them hard, so we do outnumber them that way. Go like this, we want to encircle and envelop them as much as we can. So basically go, get my Orc Boys to swing around as well. Get you there. Put my Archers there. Maybe a little bit more in the center here. Alright, go, 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 go Gadget everyone. Once you guys get past it, because we need to get as, an, as much shots off as we can. Right now, fire at will. Right, I want the, the Doom Diver to fire at the axes here, and I want you to fire into that cluster. Alright, come on, Orc Boys, go, go, go. And their grudge throwers are firing at me already. We just need to get there before they start taking me out big time. The Doom Divers are coming in. This will be a really nice way in. There they go. The Doom Divers are so good on this game. We need my 
orc boys to get over here as quickly as possible. Alright, once they get a little bit closer, we'll give out orders for the enveloping. Alright, I need my um, archers to take out their crossbowmen. Because that is what's going to keep them in this fight. So basically, I want Grimgor to go for the th for Thorgrim, but uh, we're going to get past them there, it's fine. We also need to pick targets, and we need to flank. So basically, get these guys, and then these guys to flank as much as you can. Alright, go straight for the miners. You guys can go for Thorgrim and help slug him down. And everyone else here can swing around. Alright, come further around here. Actually, I'm going to send a unit to go deal with... One of the orc boys can go over there and deal with the grudge throwers. Alrighty, how's this charge coming in here? Here we go. The sides are clashing and already Thorgrim is dropping his magic spells. I won't try to get too much cinematic shots because we're going to need to fight this effectively and efficiently. But just as you see here, we're already getting... All these buffs thrown on us, and which isn't good whatsoever. So we need a flank. Come on around now, guys. We got, we're breaking that unit. Come on, hit him. I don't want to commit too many units to hitting Thorgrim, because he's going to stay in there for the most of the battle, the longevity. So let's flank around. Come on quickly now. Go, go, go. We're already breaking in the center a bit. My quarrels are still firing. Come on, go. Get over here, guys. We need to get you behind. We need to get behind this. Hit him in the center there. Go. Continue to let my archers to hit these guys here. Get rid of the grudge throwers. Doom divers, I want you guys hitting at the guys at the back. Right, how are we going on here? We're hitting them from behind. I do need to keep an eye on Thorgrim's health as uh, uh, Grimgore's health as well. I don't... Oh, who's... Is he pulled out? Oh, no, he hasn't. I don't know if you guys notice. Oh, we're breaking in the center. Come on. Hit the quarrelers. I do this in my dwarfs and greenskins campaign. We're broken in the center there. Get more units here now. Still get Thorgrim to take out. Sorry, Grimgore to take out Thorgrim. Come on, we need to get around here. There, Buckley. Yeah. I call in my greenskins campaign Thorgrim. Uh, sorry, Grimgore Thorgrim. I'm doing it again, trying to make an example. And in my. Dwarf's campaigns, I call Thorgrim Grimgore. I just, they're so, so close. Obviously, it's a huge sort of insult, isn't it? Right, get around. Come on, break the quarrelers. We're buckling on this side here. Right, we've broken them there. Right, get the orc boys to go for the archers. Come down there and help. Let's continue to break these guys here. How are the hammer is going and such. Come in here and help. Come on. Right, you guys have been freed up. Get in here now. This is going to be a such a tight battle. This is going to go down to the final man. The final wire. Go this way. Aim for them. Get back in here. Try and break these crossbowmen. This is going to be a huge... Losses for either side. It might even be a perfect victory. Thorgrim is just holding them in. There's no point of going for him because Grimgore is... Um, come back, archers. We need to get rid of his units instead of going for him. Because we can get a unit to slug him down, but I don't want... Oh, we're buckling here. Go for the miners. Where are the orc boys? Ball boys. Come around here and help. We need to deal with this. Archers, deal with that. Deal with the hammerers. Fall out here. Go with that. Get uh, you to go here. Come around and help. Start picking off some of these guys here. Alright, aim for this. Alright, what's happening here in the center? Get my archers out. My archers here can do fine hitting these guys that are hitting my guys retreating. Right, what's everyone else doing? The ball boys have been freed up. 
Crikey. Hit these guys. You're causing way too much friendly fire hitting into that. Have we wiped them? My god, this was such an intense battle. Wow, and we've won it. Let's just quickly pause and take a breather. Holy fuck. Right, let's halt my archers for a second. I don't want to cause any friendly fire. Then I don't then I don't have to. My bloody hell. My Orc Biggins got smashed in that. It's because they don't have shields, that's why. And they had an abundance, they had skirmish of superiority. And they also had... Christ. Um... They had skirmish, skirmish superiority and... Artillery superiority. Now I want to kill Thorgrim. Fire into this. We've slugged him down here. We'll get our boar boys and him to get rid of him. The enemy lord has the enemy lord has been wounded. Perfect. We want to try and run down as many of these bastards as, as we can. Come on, let's kill the stunties. <laughs> Alright. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to halt. Alright, where are my archers sort of located a bit? Because I want my orc war boys to do much of the much of the work, but that we lost a lot of men in that fight. You could see you could see how well Thorgrim dropping his buffs helped him in that, because you could just see my men just wavering so much. He must have had like a I can't remember his spells off the top of my head, but he must have had some sort of um, giving my orcs. My green skins, um, less missile resistance or something. Must have been the case. Go for the hammers up here, actually. If we can get them, that'll be really nice. But we need to destroy as many of them as possible. Thorgrim has been defeated. We're gonna be able to get we're gonna be able to run these guys down now. Let's kill these hammerers. For th for Grimgore! Here they come. This is going to be a bloody run down here. Look at that. <laughs> nice, guys. Alright, let's continue. We want to try run down as many of them as possible, as I said. We'll get up our chevrons as well. We don't want these guys coming back. It was a lamb battle, so... It's not like we destroyed the garrison in doing this. Like in other battles. But how many's in this? Uh, one. How many's in this retreating? Five. Go for it, but I think they might have... evaded us. Here come the boar boys. We might... N oh, nah. We just missed them. A close victory. Yeah, bloody hell. What did most of the work for them? 70 with Thorgrim. Wow. Okay. Once we get back to the campaign map, let's run through the stats now, shall we? Wow. Okay. The dwarfs deployed. 1,529. Whoa! We gained 32,000 in the bank. And Thorgrim has gone up in stats. The dwarfs lost 1,374. We deployed 1,692. We lost 807. So we destroyed Thorgrim, captured 70. How well did their uh, catapults do? Not too well. Their quarrelers did okay. Wow, those dwarven warriors did really well. Oh, the hammer is 189. Bloody hell. The orc biggins 144. Really nice. The archers did average, which is what I expected. The orc ball boys got 174. The goblin doom diver, that is the real MVP. They are so they might look stupid and sound stupid, but the goblin doom divers are so effective in total war warhammer. The rock lovers did all right. Scrimgore did 50. So we can eat the captives. We can slaughter, or we can ransom. Let's eat the captives to get the replenishment. And now, in total war, Warhammer, you can't actually kill. 
legendary lords. However, Thorgrim has been wounded. But if we keep on, for example, we keep on smashing Thorgrim Grudge Bearer for the dwarves, we kill him like three, three, four times, you can actually get this trait called Scarred. So, obviously, if they keep on dying, they do come back. But they can be scarred and get some really bad negative traits, which does help you if you just keep on smashing them. So, we can go with what now with Thorgrim? We can go with more uh, Grimgore. We can go with more leadership or... I think we go for more melee defense and armor. So he can withstand and uh, stay within the battlefield as, as long as possible. So, I did see that he got a sword out of that. So, a common. What is our Ogre Blade uncommon? Eight weapon strength. So we can get four weapon strength, two melee attack, and two charge. My Ogre gives me a weapon strength. The Ogre Blade gives me a weapon strength of 8. I'm going to stay with the Ogre. It is uncommon. And the Berserker Sword is common. Right. Um, banners and stuff here. We haven't really got any spare. Let's run down the remaining dwarfs here. Wow. Let's eat them. But that gave us a lot of money. Right. Well, now it's time to... Uh, can we get back into the settlement? No, but if we go here, we're going to be close enough to initiate a garrison draw out from Karaz here. Right. My Wa is currently besieging Barakvar. They've taken the sorrow off me, and Ungrim is pushing into here. If they besiege Karak, eight peaks will be fine. Let's upgrade these buildings now. We need to get this wall up. These walls up. Where's my other army here? Did we lose any units? No. We'll replenish. We need to head down. Uh, I probably shouldn't have headed back that way. I probably should have headed the other way. I can get Troll Eater. We need to recapture these territories because we were slowly building walls. We've got walls in the northern half of my kingdom. But down here, not so much. We're only at turn 53, so that's not too bad. The walls are coming along nicely here. We still have 3,600 in the bank. Once we upgrade the Black Crag, we're going to be able to get... Um, we're going to be able to get... Yeah, I don't know. Should we go... I was thinking about building a troll cave so we can get some trolls and some giants. Or we're we better off to get a shaman's hut so we can only get as... Can we, so we can get as hag. Well, I really want to get the the giant. I think that would be awesome if I could get him. But that needs a five with a popular surplus. We have 3,600 in the bank. I'm sort of tempted to create another army, to be honest. Get this, get um, Troll Eater up a little bit more. Let's move Troll Eater to Iron Rock. What can we recruit here? Well, we're going to need more archers. These are the best archers we can get anyway, so we're going to need some more of them regardless. We can't get any more Doom Divers, so let's get another Catapult unit. And there's two more slots left. I don't want any more Goblin Orc boys. We still have Maggot up in the north defending, just in case Chaos comes or something. What's this? 0.9 per turn. We can't even upgrade that. Alright, we should be able to take Barak Var very soon. I will, I will uh, start constructing more buildings in the the bloody river, the bloody river valley soon. It's just that we need to prioritize elsewhere for the time being. We do have an army here with sour, just a lot of goblins. I sort of hope, yeah, they're probably going to go for the crooked fang, though, aren't they? Damn you! All right, let's um. Hmm. Let's end the, the turn and continue. Maggot's gone up in skill. Alright, what are we going to go with you, Maggot? We already got this spell here. Speed and charge, weapon damage and attack. Let's go with that. Let's go with the itchy. Troll eat up. I'm going to give you a... a war bore. So you can move around the battlefield a little bit better. Right, so, okay. Ungrim is attacking me at the Crooked Fang. Uh, I'm umming and ahhing whether or not to play this because he has two units of 
grudge throwers. He's a little bit knackered himself. Okay. Um, we have two units of... Okay, we've got two units of... Orc biggins. Four units of orc boar boys. Two archers. Two skirmishers. And two... Riders. Okay, so we're coming up against three dwarf warriors and a lot of miners. Only two quarrelers, though. Let's do a quick save, and I'll play this at the start of the next episode against Ungrim Iron Fist. We might even try kill him. Um, obviously, because we don't have a wall here, it's going to take place on the battlefield. But it's time to end the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on the description below. Episode 10, uh, sorry, this is episode 10. Episode 11 of the Total War Warhammer Greenskins campaign is coming out next. And yeah, check out my other Total War Warhammer campaigns. I'm playing as the Empire, the Dwarfs, the Greenskins, of course, the Vampire Counts, and Chaos. But make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye.